Hi, I'm Mike, and today we're going to talk about tires. I know this channel has been kind of gear focused lately, but nothing takes you out of an outdoor adventure like getting stuck or having to turn around because you can't make it to the trailhead. And nothing is more likely to ruin your trip than the tires on whatever vehicle you're taking to get there. If you want a full breakdown of the differences between mud terrains and all terrains, check out this video that Harry and I did for the Driving Line channel that compares the two on dirt, snow, and rocks. We don't have mud here in Reno, really. Speaking of Driving Line, these tires were sent to me so that my Tacoma could be used in the videos that we produce for Driving Line. And those videos are a paid gig, and that channel is sponsored by Nitto. So this will mean I don't have to blur out my BFGs again when they show up in one of the videos. Check out the videos that Harry and I have been doing over on the Driving Line YouTube channel. So for the last few years, manufacturers have been making what they call a hybrid terrain tire or an RT tire. This combines the big tread blocks and voids of a mud tire with the siping and efficiency of an all-terrain tire. I actually shot a promo for Kenda's RT tire out in St. George a year or so ago in conjunction with Roxor. I decided to go with this tire uh, primarily for size reasons. I wanted to try the 255-80 R17, and this was the tire that they had in that size. This size is commonly referred to as the pizza cutter, is about 33 inches tall and about eight inches wide here at the tread surface. It's only about one centimeter narrower nominally than the stock tires that come on the Tacoma, which is a 265, but it's two inches taller. They're also taller than the 285-70-17, which many Tacoma owners like to run. How can that be? How can they be taller than a 285? Well, it's because the first number, 255, is the width in millimeters of the tread of the tire. The second number, in this case 80, is the height of the sidewall as a percentage of the tread width. So this sidewall is 80% of the width of the tire. The third number is the diameter of the wheel in inches, 17. So find a tire size calculator either as an app on your phone or on the web and you can calculate out any of these tires and you'll get about 33 inches for these, this size. There are various advantages to go with a narrow tire like this for a vehicle as light as the Tacoma. First is weight. This tire is only 10 pounds heavier than the BFG all-terrains that I have on the Tacoma now. Rolling mass has a great effect on performance and efficiency of a vehicle and keeping that as low as you can is a really good idea. Second is rolling resistance. The narrower a tire is, the less contact and friction it has with the road and it should get better mileage. These tires are LT25-80 R17E 121-118Q. The LT stands for light truck rating. The tires that come on a Tacoma are P, or passenger car rated. The E stands for load range E, and these tires are rated for a 10-ply sidewall. That means the sidewall is stiffer and thicker than tires that come stock on a Tacoma, and will be able to carry a heavier load and resist puncturing. It'll also be heavier and rougher riding than stock. Uh, the 121-118 is the load rating, and these are rated for 3,195 pounds at 80 PSI. I'll never get anywhere near that with the Tacoma. The Q is the speed range, and these are rated for 99 miles per hour, though if this truck ever goes that fast, it'll probably be falling off a cliff. Like most tires these days, the tread pattern on the Ridge Grapplers is designed to be quiet. They do this by setting the tread blocks so that the sound waves that come off of each side of the tire are out of phase and they cancel out, theoretically. It's like, kind of like how noise canceling headphones work. The tread pattern has a crisscross design with big center daggers and blocky side lugs that set apart with big voids like a mud tire. But like an all-terrain tire, the lugs are cut with thin sipes to aid in flexing of the tire and evacuation of water. The side lugs are staggered to provide more grip, and the tread blocks have various features to aid in grip and ejection of rocks and mud. 
Like most aggressive off-road tires, these have tread lugs built into the sidewall. This will be especially important for such a narrow tire and certainly help protect the tire uh, when airing them way, way down. Unlike most other tires, however, this has a different sidewall tread pattern on either side of the tire. One side is sort of simpler and blocky and the other side is theoretically more aggressive and cool looking. And so, you know, you can decide which side you want out when you mount them up. I don't know that it matters much from a performance standpoint. It's kind of random where you're going to need traction on any given road. Um, so it's impossible to predict whether they should go on the inside or the outside. And Nitto doesn't really make any claim as to which is better and lists this as a design feature more than a performance feature. I've been riding along on Nitto tires with Harry for the last year or so and have had nothing but good experiences with Nitto tires. While I've been a loyal BFG all-terrain guy for many, many years, I'm excited to give these a try. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and post a comment or a question. If you want to follow the adventure and find out if we change the name to Hybrid Terrain Family, be sure to subscribe. Spoiler, it's not gonna happen. Happy trails.